Todd Grisham, and what a venue. We are live at the Empire Fight Camp. Alongside me, Johnny N Carl, the Roy. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds. An open air outdoor stadium. What a venue for this contest. Todd, the heat. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. He misses with that jab. Nice counter. That left counter punch will score. Nice job landing that left counter punch. He got out of the way of that right hook. The sun is blazing this afternoon, and these two athletes are going to have to find a way to deal with it. This is taking boxing back to its roots. Outside, where you've got the crowd there, you can hear everything. You've got the breeze of the wind. You've got the heat of the sun. You know when you're doing this? Your feet are on fire. They're on fire in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Come on, give these guys a chance. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. Yes, they need to be offensive and defensive. It's just trying to figure out which puzzle fits which. You gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. We knew this was going to be tough. We well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Next round coming up. Now you've got to step it up. Now you've got to be smart. Now you've got to give him something different. Because one of these two fighters is going to come out and try and jump on it, put it on him. And this is what you've got to get ready for. Be smart. Change things up again. Change your pattern of behavior. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. Lands with the right counter. Can you believe this? Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. How did he absorb that hook? You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.
What a crisp, cool evening. We are live outside at Empire Fight Camp. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, former world... It's Roy... Here come... This bout is scheduled for... Lots of hype as they will fight... They we're expecting an all-out offensive display. That's another scoring shot. Neither man really defending themselves. So it's Jones versus Calzaghi, part two. Of course, Calzaghi got dropped in their first fight, but then got back up and managed to beat Jones by a unanimous decision. Joe Kawasaki, you think of fighters unbeaten, you think about standing fighters. This guy can fight for fun. That's all he does. So now we're gonna do it again. And Joe Kawasaki's got it all. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Beautiful counter shot. Right punch. Great counter right hand there. He got out of the way that right hook. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media, it's time to settle the score. These men showing exceptional. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so so easy. Keep doing what you're doing. Be that for a pick. Good work. That's it. Now breathe, breathe. Just get your breath back. Good. Here we go for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. And he misses with the left uppercut. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Missed him with that uppercut. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he fails to score with that left hook. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers will hit anything and everything. Your head, your ear, your elbow, your rib, your belly button. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. He won't let him off the hook. He's in some real trouble. Does he know he's hurting? Look at him. At this point, you got to believe he can't. Let's get it started in round three. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Punch, counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. He threw the hook, didn't land. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Just misses. And the referee is right there, getting closer and closer to stopping this fight. The clock is ticking. They've got him hurt, but can they finish? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Oh, and Joe Calzaghe just took a heavy shot. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Big hook. Good thing it didn't land. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Come on, look across at him, look at him now. See it and he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish him. Fight, it's so important now in this first minute of this next round. And there's the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That left counter was perfectly timed. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour. And we're waiting. Pensacola's finest is down. One, two, three, four. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Can he finish this here? One, two, three, four, five. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to gear you up. They've got to tell you what. He caught him clean. Is this the beginning of the end? Maybe he should hold on, but that's not in his DNA. The right hook misses. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. A borderline disastrous round, but he's... And there's the bell for round five. Last round was a disaster. What can they do here to turn this around? Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs will feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. The 
Got out of the way of that right hook. Can you believe this? Joe Calzaghe in some serious trouble. And his best defense is not as good as his offense. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Perfect counter shot. They nice score with that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to so like to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Just misses with that big right hand. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Catch and shoot. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they here we go in the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice counter shot. Nice counter shot. Good counter punching for both these fighters. He misses with that jab. Lands with the right counter. Drops that jet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. And he finished the job. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about something. <laughs> Stumbling around on Bambi legs. Final 10 seconds here, unless we get some late drama, I think we all know he's going for the finish. He is absolutely gone. The referee's keeping a close eye on him. A lot of work needs to be done. Here we go, it's round seven. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. That left counterpunch will score. And he misses with that jab. And then... One, two, three, four, five. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues.
What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination maximum respect. Wait a minute, he caught him clean. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Can you believe this, Joe? One, two, three, four, five, six. The corner has that round eight, and we're off again. They barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. And the referee is right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night. It is nighttime, and we are live outside at the Empire Fight Camp. My name is Todd Grisha, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to... It's the... In Roy Jones. This bout is... They'll be fighting... A We're expecting an all-out offensive display. One of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. And he misses with that jab. Good counter punch. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good job getting out of the way of that left. Miss with that jab. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. 
Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't... Here we go, round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Counter right. Oh, that punch. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. There's a counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Hard, we see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I, I, I'm being unfair. I'm being unfair saying it's a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. Where's the precision? He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Nice counter. That punch landed. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ear. And there's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He parries that left jab away. He got out of the way of that right hook. Great counter right hand there. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He just misses with that jab. Good counter left hand there. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That left counter was perfectly timed. I promise you. And there's the bell to start round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. 
They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fire. You'd like to see more jabs. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good counter punching from both these fighters. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. And a counter left. Good punch scores. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That counter shot lands. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in. There's the bell to start round five. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Hold everything. He caught him clean. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. His jab just got blocked. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. the combination to this safe. He parries away that left hook. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He misses with that jab. man really defending themselves. Good counter right hand again. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Perfect counter shot. As bad as... And there's the bell to start round six. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Charge my mother. It's now or never. The clock is ticking. This is his big chance. And down goes Jones Jr. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.